Hi, this is Whitney from the onboarding team here at Triple Seat. This video will discuss document templates and layouts. Your Triple Seat document templates are stored here in settings under documents. Depending on your property, you may have one or several sets of documents. Booking documents or master documents allow you to include multiple related events as well as room block information onto one set of documents, which is ideal for our hotel and larger venue customers. The document template is where all the core information fields live. These are fields that you will complete when building out booking documents for a specific booking and they may include standard fields such as contact information, guest room block table, multi-events table, etc. as well as your contract terms and conditions. There may also be note fields such as timeline or perhaps special instructions that would you would fill out per booking. Document templates that are used to detail out events will include pick list fields so that you can charge for items such as food, beverage, and other billable items. The information included on the template can then be distributed to your layouts. Examples of layouts would be a contract, BEO, invoice, proposal, etc. The layout displays the information being pulled from the template in a customer pleasing format. So think of the template as the brains and the layout as the beauty. So here's an example of a layout which pulled all the information from the template and is now showing it in this BEO. In order for something to appear on a layout, it must be included in the template. That being said, not everything stored in your template needs to appear on a layout. For example, you may want food and beverage to appear on both the BEO and the internal or staff BEO, but maybe kitchen notes only appears on the internal BEO. When looking to make any major changes to your document templates and layouts, we strongly encourage you to reach out to support so they can guide you through. But today I will review a few easy changes you can do yourself. The first is updating your terms and conditions. To do this, click into the template that holds your terms. And then scroll down to the text box where your terms are located. To make changes to your existing terms, you can just find the section that you want to edit. And from here, you can change your formatting. You can add verbiage. and you can remove anything that you need to. If you wish to copy and paste text into this text box, make sure to run it through a plain text editor first to avoid any format issues. You can also take advantage of Triple Seat's merge fields. Merge fields will pull in specific information from the booking, contact profile, or your venue itself so that the terms reflect details of the specific booking. Good examples of information you may want to merge into your terms would be deposit due dates and amounts, room block cutoff dates, the booking food and beverage minimum, or your tax and service charge rates. To access merge fields, put your cursor where you would like to insert the merge field itself and then just right click with your mouse. From here, you're going to see the available merge fields. It's important to understand that when you're using master docs, event merge fields will not work within your terms. You need to make sure you use the booking fields. So here I'm going to insert our food and beverage minimum. And now every time we use this set of documents that will automatically appear there. When you make any changes to your template, be sure to save it.
When you do make changes to your terms here in settings, these changes will reflect in all newly created document sets. They will not update on documents that have already been generated on a booking, as you would not want to change the terms on a contract that's already been signed. Another box where merge fields are helpful would be the contact information section. The contact information section has several merge fields pulling in here, such as account and contact details, the booking name, as well as the sales manager information. If your property needs customized data fields, these can be created and then merged into your document templates. Examples might include an IATA number for commissionable groups or perhaps the room block attrition details. We will discuss how to create and use custom fields in another video. Let's discuss two other edits you can easily make yourself and that is customizing how your room block table and multi event tables display information. Within the template, you can choose to select which pieces of information the triple seat user can see when they're building the booking. So for our guest room block, perhaps when we're building the booking, we want to see how many rooms we've blocked and forecasted in addition to the contracted rooms. You can also opt to remove anything that you don't need to see. In addition to customizing what the triple seat user sees on the template when building a booking, you can also customize what the customer sees on the individual layout. So if I click into the contract layout here, and then click into the room block table, I can now opt to show what I want my customer to see. So perhaps on the template, we wanted our team to see the total amount of rooms blocked, but we don't want the customer to necessarily see that. We just want to show them the contracted room number so we could make that change. If you wish to show your customer the total room nights and the total expected revenue for those room nights, you can opt in right here. Again, any changes you make to your layouts, you want to make sure you hit save as well. Moving back into our template, the same theory applies with the multi events table. Here I can choose what my team can see when they're building out a booking. So maybe I want them to know the name and the setup type as well as all the other information. I can even change the order that that information appears by just clicking and dragging and dropping. And again, I'm going to hit save. And if I go back into my contract layout, and now click into the multi events table, I can customize what the customer will see on the contract layout, as well as the order that it appears. So if I want my event name to appear first, I can drag that up. And perhaps on the contract, I want to show the expected guest count but I may not know the guaranteed at this point. So instead of showing an empty field or a zero, I could remove that, but I may want to include my rental fee on the contract so the customer knows how much there should be expected to be charged for that space. Again, any changes you make, you just wanna click save. This concludes our video about master document templates and layouts. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, Please reach out to our support team, support at triplesseat.com, or by clicking on the help and question button at the top of any scene, screen in Triple Seat.